This this is a Strapple cane, many, many layers I had tons of scrap canes, so these have been sitting around for like almost two years. So I put them between black clay today, and so this was really, really tough clay, so this will be a good test to see how strong this blade is. So I'm going to push it out. Perfectly clean slice. Move it out just a little bit. You can do really, really thin slices. Oh, that cuts some good. Or thick slices. Move those out of the way. And we'll do some more thin ones. This is about two millimeters right there. And again, this is scrap clay, so it's hard. It's all misshapen. It's not shaped really good, not square. So we'll do about two millimeter slice. That's really, really thin. Do another one. And this is old clay, and this slice is perfect. This is so easy to use. I love it. I'm gonna get some end here, and this will show really well how it cuts. Made that perfect end piece a good piece to use. So that's making with a strapple cane. And then we're gonna try with a kaleidoscope cane. So this is a nice, really fancy kaleidoscope cane. So we're gonna want some thinner slices. That's a really nice slice. So you can do really thin. Like that. Or you can do thick slices. Like that. It keeps everything nice and round. You move it a little bit. I'm going to do another thin slice. Really thin if you can see how thin that is. I mean that's just a oh, two millimeter slice. It's paper thin. Really thin slice. Slice is wonderful. And then my cane's not misshapen at all. Still in great shape. So we will show that. And then I'm going to show you. This is huge scrap cane that I made. This is two years worth of scrap. So we're just going to see how well. I had almost had to beat it with a hammer to put it in a square like this with the rectangle. So we're going to start cutting it to see what it does. This cuts like butter. It's so smooth. This is a strong blade. And um, one kind of thing about when you cut with like, these, if you match it up, the two pieces together matched up. It almost looks like a butterfly, like a monarch. But you can keep slicing. And we're going to want to put those together. And you can see how you could put those together. Yucky colors, but that's kind of how you would do a um, Natasha bead, Natasha cutting. That's how you do that. But let's turn this the other way. And you can see that's thick. That's about two inches what deep. Perfect clean cut. That's some old cane in there, but that looks really cool. So that is the first demo of the Lucy Clay Slicer that arrived um, October of 2013. And we are going to be doing lots of demos with this. I'm very happy with the construction. It's large, but it's not too large. I mean, it could easily fit on the side of your desk or your table, your work area, and you'd be able to go over and slice your canes. The blade is super sharp. Um, when I was putting it together, I had to be very careful. But I love it. It's just, it slices beautifully, nice and clean cuts. And I think it's going to be a wonderful tool. Great asset. Thank you, Lucy Clay Tools. See you soon.